In this video I'm going to look at drawing plans and elevations. Essentially we have to remember a few different things. What the difference between a front elevation, side elevation and a plan view is. If I just sketch up now um, my house, what we're going to have is a nice roof and it's going to look something along the lines of this. So my house would look something like so and I'd have that line up there. We would generally call this the front elevation. So front elevation. This would be known as the side elevation. And the top looking down is going to be what we call the plan view. Okay. Now, the way I like to think about plan view is it's simply a bird's eye view. So if you're in an aeroplane, what would you see? Now let's just look at this. If I was standing straight onto my house, what I would see is that long box bit, and then I would see a bit of a roof. If we take out all the idea of three dimensional, uh, the three dimensional aspect of this, then it's going to look something like this. That's what I'd see if I was looking that way. And say my door was there, we'll put the door just there. So that is what we call a front elevation. If I looked at it from the side, just here, what I'm going to see is something that looks a bit like this. Okay? Um, and this is just going to be looking at the side. So say I've got, uh, I don't know, a couple of windows up there. They're going to be here. Okay? So that is a side elevation. A plan. Now imagine if I got in a helicopter, I, I went out in uh, the family helicopter, and started flying over the roof. That is what I would see. That's what we call the plan elevation. It's a bird's eye view looking down on the roof. So all we've got to do is look down on the roof. And it's going to appear a box. It's going to be the same length as this and the same width as, as that one. So this is what we call um, a plan. The typical kind of thing that you're going to get in an exam, and they, they don't get much... I'd, I'd like to do some of the, the sort of hard ones, but I've not seen a decent sort of really challenging one that makes me think for ages and I don't, I don't really pretend I'm any good at this stuff. Right, let's have a try at this one. So what we're going to do is a front and we're going to call this the front. So right here, this is going to be the front elevation. So we'll call that front and then we'll call this one here side. What I've got to think to myself is what am I going to see if I look at that dead on in front? So if I'm standing there, all I'm going to see is something that's going to be 6 centimetres by 5 centimetres. So let's do that one here. So this one is going to be, we need 6 by 5. So it's going to be 5 high, and then it's going to be 6 across. That's what I'm going to see. If I look at it dead on, none of the 3D aspect of this is going to hit me. It's just going to look like a 6 by 5. 5 by 6. Now, if I look at this side bit, what I'm going to see here now is simply the 5, so there's 5, and then I'm going to see 4. I'm just going to see a triangle. If I look at it from the side, I'm not going to see anything else, and we end up with that. So it's going to be 4 there and 5 that way. I'll put some figures on these shortly. Now, if we're flying over the top of this, we're going to have no idea that it's going to be this uh, triangular shape, a, a constant cross-section of a triangle. All we're going to see is the actual base. Um, so all we're going to have is a 4 by 6. So let's just do the 4 by 6, which is going to be just there. Okay. So this is the plan. Okay. So that's what we get. So let's grab the pen up. So if we think about this, this is me standing at the front just here, looking straight on. This is going to be 6 centimetres, and this one right here is going to be 5 centimetres high. Looking at it from the side, that one's going to be 4, and this one's going to be 5 high. So all I can see is the side panel, nothing more. Now, if I'm flying over the top, I can see this base here, and I can see that, but I've got no idea that I'm missing this whole part of it. There's no there's nothing to tell me that by flying over the top. You don't get that sort of that idea that it's 3D. So that's what we think it should look like, but in reality all it is is a four by six box. So right here is plan. Right here is going to be the front and right here is going to be the side. So there we go. Label them up and draw them and do 
on the next one you'll see um, but do make sure you're putting any lines on that are important so let's get a shot of that one and we'll look at this one um, that says four centimeters let me just drag that that way just to give you an idea so let's have a look at this one we'll call this bit here we'll call this for front so we'll let's change that one now we'll call this the front elevation so this is the front if I'm looking dead on this is going to be the side and then the plan is going to be from top down okay so flying in a helicopter over the top and see what we've got now let's draw the front elevation if I look at that dead on I've got a 6 by 3 box so it's going to be now 6 uh, in fact we need let's just move that one up one because I don't think you're going to get on the screen with that one right so 3 high and then it's going to be 6 wide that's what you're going to see initially in fact let's just it's not quite made it six let's make it completely six right okay so it's going to be something like that if you just excuse my bad line on here and then that one there now we then get the line just here now that line is that one here but remember this back bit is one centimeter higher and we're going to see that so we need to put that one in as well so if we think about that if we look straight onto this and then straight down we're going to see this front bit and then the, the bit over the top we've got no idea about the actual um, 3D slope of that it just looks like that it's one bit higher so this right here is the front elevation looking that way now if we draw this then what we're going to see this is the side elevation we can have a 4 by 4 but it's not going to be a 4 here it's going to be a 3 so we're going to see the 3 bit and then we're going to see that. That is the side elevation. So if you're looking on that way, then that's what you're going to see. Now, this comes again quite nice. If you're flying over top of that, you've got no idea that we're missing this gap. So this gap that we've got just here, that you can see is slanted down, it will just look like it's already just up here so from the top it's just going to look like the same level so it's all going to look like it's flat so what we've actually really got let's now kill that is this um, kind of thing going on we just simply got a 4 by 6 base so there's 4 there's 6 4 and 6 that's all you would see if you look down you'd see a 4 by 6 base and we would call that the plan elevation or the plan view sorry plan view so here's the plan here's the front elevation I uh, sorry that was side one wasn't it side and here's the front so from the front this one's going to be three and this whole thing's going to be four so the little bit is going to be three the big bit's going to be four and then this one is all going to be six flying over the top it's all going to be four down here and then we're going to be six it's just the base you'll just see the base and then from the side four three four so that's how to draw plan side and front elevations just make sure you're putting these lines in and make sure it's roughly to scale it generally has carries about four or five marks on a GCSE exam paper so it's worth it's worth doing and it's something that people just seem to either forget or just haven't learned. So there it is. Um, there are some more. There are some hard ones, but realistically, I've not seen anything come up more taxing than that one.